Alright, time for another draftphysics.com video presentation. So we're back to the Dispar experiments. So he's launching cars and demonstrating that um, somehow, rubber bands anyway, he's done springs, um, tend to not conserve momentum. That is, the same compression of the spring won't produce the same momentum if you change the mass that you're putting in front of the object. So, theoretically, it conserves kinetic energy. You could say there's a certain amount of kinetic energy in a spring, a string. And he's getting results that indicate conservation of kinetic energy and not conservation of momentum. So, yeah, it's a pretty profound statement, blah, 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 blah. And, um, I don't think it's possible not to conserve <laughs> momentum. So I'll say that there continues to be reason to believe there may be a flaw in how he's doing the experiment. Now, I suggested doing it slower, and he did do it. I mean, he moved his nail, okay, um, but it's not that much slower. So I guess what I, I should have said it more directly. I did sort of indicate, start off as slow as you can, take the heavy mass and see how, just shoot it so it goes a foot and a half or whatever then you know the other one's supposed to go at least, you know, twice as fast. Um, so you're guaranteed some kind of result with the lighter car. And um, that way you certainly can check with frame rates and all that kind of stuff. And you also see how the car moves. You know, how much does it bang into the sides? How much does it do all that kind of crap? So it would be good for that. It also will eliminate anything like the car lifting up or doing some other kind of silly crap. So, um... So, yes, he went halfway, but, yeah, I just suggest going further. I'd also suggest getting rid of the track altogether, okay, and just going with a slick surface like glass. Um, and then we don't have to worry as much about wheels and friction and all of that crap. So, um, that would be also interesting. Now, a uh, third thing I point out is, is instead of using these weights he's putting on the car, um, just use two cars. So find two cars that weigh almost the same amount uh, and do it once with the two cars and you know, one in front of the other. You know, connected, but not, they don't have to glue them together, but they're just touching each other. And see if it makes a difference. Um, because it's sort of then a true test because now there's the same amount of mass per wheel. Okay, so per wheel the same mass ratio would exist uh, and um, so any issue of the mass on the wheels creating an advantage I mean that's the weird part the heavier mass is on four wheels and the lighter mass is on four wheels and maybe that's a, a disadvantage for the lighter mass who knows um, <coughs> just suggesting uh, anyway, that's how I did the experiment with just ball bearings and in one case I launched two of them and in the other case I launched one and again I got results like 1.6 to 1.8 um, He's getting results You know 1.3 to 1.48 now So he is getting it. So before he was getting a number below 1.4 now with a quick release and a few other little changes he's getting a number higher than 1.4 now if that means anything or not who knows um, he doesn't have any explanation for um, theory for how momentum is not conserved um, and um, that's okay I mean it's not, you know it's not obliged in any way um, if he doesn't want to argue theory. I mean, I would just argue that theoretically it's, it is pressure and force and it's just being applied and there really shouldn't be any reason why momentum wouldn't be conserved because there's nowhere for it to go, really. Uh, presuming that your nails are reasonably secure in, and uh, the rubber band should be able to conserve the momentum, conserve the force, whatever the force is. Uh, so, uh, we'll see. That's all I can say. Yeah, we'll see. There's different ways of doing the experiment. Again, Brozo's billiard ball experiment was, you know, 
not anywhere close to 1.4 so obviously there's reason to wonder uh, why in this case uh, you know why in his case it didn't work in this case it did work if you want to look at it that way or vice versa <laughs> why did it uh, work in Brozo's case and not work in your case uh, so anyway so I don't know if there you know, need to say much more um, so first I'd go slower uh, you know there's little details I mean the, you know he has the this timer thing um, you know it's sort of different it's not exactly parallel in each trial which you know probably didn't make much of a difference but you know it's just another source of errors that you know that should remain kind of consistent um, and again I you know I did frame rates and yeah they're not you know at best it's 1.6 in the sense it's a uh, 12 to 7 uh, or 7 to 11 you know which is 1.39 so it's just not enough frames to say one way or the other uh, so um, the whatever the problem is I don't think it's the timing gates but whatever we'll see uh, anyway um, sure do some more experiments and then you know eventually I'll do some if necessary but I think there's a real there's a problem somewhere and it's just finding it so first start off slower second maybe try sliding them across a different surface and third I'd say try to do the experiment so everything is equal so you're not piling a weight on top of the car and instead you just have twice the mass uh, so two cars instead of one car uh, that would be my suggestions for what they are worth and such. So continuing this, the, whatever this is, it just will continue. Um, you know, when you look at them, it does look like it's more than 1.4 faster, but you know, seems like or looks like isn't necessarily mean much. So anyway, till the next time. So we'll just leave it at that for now and see what else he does. I'm kind of hoping he'll go back to the lever experiment because he seems to have a very nice little carbon fiber um, lever. So, you know, I ought to take advantage of it. Anyway, till the next time and such. I mean, he has the two timing gates. <laughs> he did test those, so he did do a video, and they do seem like they read quite accurately. As long as the card goes in straight and all that kind of crap. <laughs>